Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video and in today's video Cold War has finally released It is currently 1203 and we are in Cold War and something right away that was super interesting to me is you start at level 4 So you get your creative class right away and I think that is an absolutely flawless and excellent change Instead of having to play those first four levels but guys, in today's video, we are going to be looking at our settings. This is going to be the third and final video of the settings for Cold War, unless things change in the future with new settings being added, which will have their own specific video for the specific setting. So once again, all of the settings have been reset here in Cold War. We're going to go over everything. I'm going to give you guys the best settings to what you should be using. Now, some of these are going to be personal preference to me. But let's just hop right into it and not waste any more of your time. Make sure you're leaving a like and you're subscribed to the channel for tons of Cold War content here to come. So guys, starting with the sensitivity. Me, I like playing on higher sense, but in this game, it's a little more sensitive in my opinion. So instead of playing on my usual 12-12, we're going to be playing on a 10-10. This is mainly personal preference. Um, these stick sensitivities, I don't really touch these, so this is going to be on you to fix and find your uh, preferences. Same with the button layout, same with flip. Same with invert. Now the next one that's going to be for everybody, I would highly recommend you turn the controller vibration off. This is going to make you shoot a lot straighter and it's just going to feel a lot better in the long run than playing with that vibration on. I get you might want to feel a touch of realism, but honestly, it's Call of Duty, man. Just turn this off. You'll have a lot better playing experience. So we're going to disable that. Moving right down here, let's get some of the more of the the list visible for us. So we have ADS, Sight, Aim Assist. You want this enabled, obviously. Um, and then you have slow down and strafe aiming. You want this enabled. Airborne mantle behavior. Me personally, not a fan of this setting. Like I said, personal preference here. So I'm going to have this on mantle. And then grounded mantle behavior, I'm going to have on press. On second press is a terrible setting, in my personal opinion. Uh, just these are the settings I would use. So take it with a grain of salt. I play this game or play Call of Duty, I should say pretty much daily as my job so that's kind of my portfolio and background if you're new to the channel you know i do this 24 7 so i have a bit of weight behind my personal opinions on some of the settings but like i said a lot of this stuff is going to be personal preference for you hold on the ads behavior and steady aim behavior as well you want to have hold on that okay sorry about that we just had like nine notifications come through so i don't know where i cut myself off but armor behavior um this one i typically just stick to apply one really honestly I don't have any true experience with this setting yet. I think it's fairly new. Haven't used it in Warzone either, so I can't really speak on this one. Attack vehicle control mode. I have this on aim based. Honestly, I haven't really dabbled with the vehicles too much in Cold War from the alpha and beta. So this setting, once again, I'm not too familiar with. The stick layout is going to be on you. Now, these thresholds are very nice that they have left and right stick this year. Last year was just a regular dead zone setting. Now you can really fine tune. So I believe that my left stick and right stick are both pretty bad. So I'm going to set the left stick to about 12 and my right stick to probably 12. Now I'm probably going to have to adjust one of these maybe to 13, 14, depending on how bad it is. But this is something you really want to fine tune with your controller. If you have a bit of an older controller, you're probably going to want the min threshold a lot higher because you're going to have a lot more wear and tear on your stick and there's going to be more stick drag. Now, you can turn this down to zero if you're a professional level player. This, that's probably what you want to do is turn it down to zero because then you have literally all the aim in the world up to your discretion of your thumbs and it's just going to feel a lot nicer. But for me personally, I feel really comfortable on about a 12 setting. Controller sounds, you want to disable this, especially if you're a streamer, content creator, talking to your friends. You don't want your controller telling you you got a bloodthirsty or whatever it does in this game. Turn controller sounds off. Definitely don't want those. Auto move forward, personally not a fan. Auto sprint, also personally not a fan. A lot of people liked auto attack sprint last year, so maybe consider that setting if you were a fan of the auto attack sprint last year. Sprint, sprint behavior, toggle. Uh, sprint cancels reload. This is a really interesting setting. Me, personally, in Cold War when playing in the alpha and beta, wasn't a fan personally, but there's a lot of people who really like this one. So this is one. Give it a try. See if you like it. Honestly, I'm more of a YY kind of person. That's just me. But if you guys want this one on, there's honestly no harm in putting this one on. Parachute auto deploy. Have this enabled. Equipment behavior is definitely a hold. Um, you know, you don't want toggle on. If you have toggle, you'll pull out that frag grenade. And if you don't hit that button again, it will literally blow up in your hands. So hold on that one. Interact and reload. This is a big one. I'm going to prioritize reload because it's honestly a lot nicer to have the tap for interactions. But if you prioritize your reload, you still have tap for regular interactions, but you do prioritize that reload to reload first. 
over just picking a gun up off the ground. This is my favorite setting so far in Cold War personally besides FOV. And um, this was a huge one for me in the beta. I just love seeing this setting and it was huge. So that's going to do it for the controller settings. Moving on to your graphics. Honestly, I'm going to be turning my field of view up to about a 105. Anywhere between 100 and 110 was my favorite area playing in the beta. Um, but you're going to have to test this on your own. Now, ADS field of view, you want this on affected. Now, um, if you do independent, it will have its intended value. This setting is a little you know, confusing at first, but let's just read it out here. ADS will zoom to the field of view it's in, at its intended value and affected. ADS will zoom to a value closer to your field of view settings. This does not apply to the zooms with the magnification of over 4x. So I believe how it's intended is affected will kind of give you a little bit cleaner of a transition into your ADS. So it's more towards that field of view that you still are currently on. Now, if it, you're on independent, I think it will go the whole way down to either 80 or 90, whatever console FOV is. Not sure about PC, but I believe it is a lot more zoomed on independent. That's at least how I'm perceiving the way it's worded here in the settings. That one we might have to play with a little bit. Colorblind stuff, that's all you guys if you have any you know issues with your colors and stuff. Motion blur, you want to have this disabled. This is a big one. Turn motion blur off 100%. Audio, there's a couple different audios here. I have the music down to zero just in case there might be any copyright issues and I don't want to deafen you guys right now. So that's all stuff we'll find out with time. We can obviously turn that back on. Uh, if you're a content creator, maybe just mute it for the first couple days, see how things are going. Uh, for the audio presets, I'm going to be setting mine to either high boost or bass boost. Uh, probably going to start with high boost. They don't have super crunch this year. We'll see. I think I had high boost in the alpha and beta. But uh, we will have to see on that one for the best audio preset. Obviously, with a little bit of testing, we'll find that out very, very quickly. All your game chat and microphone settings are here. It's all going to be on you guys. Interface, uh, if you guys are playing campaign, any of that stuff, I would probably recommend subtitles just for a viewing experience if you're a streamer or content creator. Um, all this stuff, most of this you're going to want on shown. It's just going to be if you're like kind of picky about certain things like the health bars or the names above health bars, all that kind of stuff. Nothing crazy in here. Keyboard and mouse, which is the next tab on the right, I'm personally not using, and I don't really have anything to say about that setting. It's all going to be you guys. And account and network is going to be your personal information, such as your Activision ID and things like that. So if you're a streamer, content creator, don't show that stuff while you're making a video or while you're streaming. Guys, it's all the settings right now in Cold War that you really want to focus on. There's going to be some nitpicky stuff that you're going to have to fine-tune on your own that I didn't talk about in this video, such as maybe your ADS stick sensitivity or your dead zones. Other than that, the settings I did go over here today are going to improve your gameplay significantly. Whether you decide to use them or not is totally on you. So guys, make sure you leave it a like on this video. Make sure you share it around. Subscribe if you're new. Plenty of Cold War content here to come tonight along with the rest of the year. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Sponsors and equipment in the description below along with that membership option next to the subscription button. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.